Welcome to Intuitive Astrology with Molly McCord. Thank you so much for joining me today as we're going to discuss the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction occurring at 21 degrees, 49 minutes of Taurus in your chart, and this will be exact on April 20th, 2024. This is being described as the biggest astrological event of the year, and that's because we have two outer planets beginning a new synodic cycle together. Together. Jupiter and Uranus meet up in a conjunction every 13 to 14 years, and this initiates a new journey that brings alive new energies in your chart. So first of all, you want to identify where you have 21 and 22 degrees of Taurus by house placement. This is in your natal chart, as this is where something is ready to burst through, to amplify. This can be also sudden realizations, sudden revelations and acknowledgments. This could be something that you've already been feeling, especially since 2023, because that is when Uranus first got to this degree points in Taurus specifically June and July of 2023, and then again, September, October, and November of 2023. So basically, a part of your energy has already been rumbling and shaking with this energy field. You've already felt it on the approach, like there's this anticipatory feeling that something is about to bust through or bust open. There's something that is coming through through in your consciousness and in your energy field that is actually taking you to a new level of growth. And so I'm going to discuss more of that in today's show. But understand that because this particular conjunction is so rare and it's happening in Taurus, we haven't had this energy in our life. In fact, wait, I take that back. The last time it happened in Taurus was 1941. So if you were alive during the beginning of the 1940s, in World War II, then you did live through this previous cycle. And perhaps you can recall how resources were very unpredictable and unsteady. The economics were shifting and changing. The financial markets were in a roller coaster ride of experiences. And basically how it was difficult to find steady ground in the world at large. Now I realize as I'm sharing all this, this sounds like a rather grim outlook, but there's much more to understand here about what's going on within each of us and to note that we're at a very different point of consciousness. We're at a different level of consciousness. And so we have new levels of awareness, new choices, new options, as well as new levels of empowerment to work with during this particular conjunction. Now, the same hallmark energies do apply that we are moving into a cycle of amplified changes. And there are things that are going to be ramped up and revved up. There's going to be a lot coming through rather quickly. And that is uncomfortable for the Taurus energies. The Taurus energies represent your preferred comfort zone. What you want and need that gives you a sense of peace and security, where you go at the end of the day to return to a calm state. It's actually how we can also balance our energies and calm our nervous systems. And so Taurus could represent what you need in order to feel less busy, less distracted, where you need to tune into the wisdom of nature, where you go to settle the mind and to also connect with the beauty that you prefer, the beauty in the natural world, the beauty of the five senses. Taurus represents what we need to live a good life and what that means to you, what you prefer, 
what you value and how our values evolve as we age, as we have different life experiences, as we go through big life changes, what we want shifts. And there could be a theme running through you here around simplification. And what do I need less of? What is not needed? What is too much? And how can I cut back? There could also be a theme here of what do I want more of because it really matters to me. And maybe that is surprising and shocking. Maybe there are things you're realizing that you want to bring into your life that you haven't had access to, but now it's really important to you. Now it shows you more about your priorities, what is meaningful to you, and what you want to create and build. Taurus is a builder. Taurus will stick with something to see it through. Taurus will also continue to invest in what matters to you. And that could be part of the changes that you're feeling or sensing in your life is that you have greater clarity on what really matters for the long term, not necessarily the simple immediate gratifications of today, but rather where you're going in the future. And this is an energy that is quite future oriented, where the Uranian influence in Taurus wants to accelerate change, yet the Taurus energy will resist that change, will have this push and pull struggle in the energy because it's happening too fast. But with this particular conjunction and this new synodic cycle, it is going to accelerate and speed up. There will be more rapid changes unfolding that can be mind boggling, hard to understand, and actually rip you out of a comfort zone and then require you to settle the nervous system, calm the mind, ground yourself into a sense of trust that yes, this is happening for my best and highest good, even though the swift moving changes can be a lot. And so Uranus has already been basically dismantling a comfort zone of sorts. If you were to look at the Taurus areas of your chart, you might see that this part of your experience has been very turbulent and up in the air. It could feel like there's just been disruptions, things you can't rely on, almost like we've been programmed to see that, okay, this is happening today, but it's probably going to look different tomorrow. And this type of rapid growth is resembling the areas of our consciousness that are ready for this, that can handle this. So know that that's also in play here is that even though it's happening really quickly and can be stirring up some deep fears, especially related to finances, economics, your work life experiences, and maybe those feel wildly out of balance. It could also be bringing up the life changes you've been wanting to make, but have felt that they're off in the distance. It's almost like this energy brings it right front and center. I mean, I'm getting that visual of, you know, when you zoom in really quickly on something and all of a sudden it's right there. That's what this is like a magnetic pull on something you've been focused on and Uranus brings it into the moment. And this also disrupts the time space continuum where I'm trying to explain this as I'm receiving it. But again, something that maybe felt like it was out on the horizon or far away, all of a sudden it shows up and it throws you off. And you're like, I wasn't expecting this right now. I didn't think this would happen today. But Uranus is above that typical linear timeline. And because it's connected to the higher realms of futuristic potentials, it's almost like it brings something into your reality in a way that is uncomfortable. It's like, oh my goodness, I thought I had more time. In fact, I was relying on that. I need more time. And Uranus, especially with Jupiter conjunct, says, no, it's here. It's now. It's today. And it's something in your physical world, which is Taurus, the earth sign of Taurus, which is what you can physically touch, taste, see, listen to. Something in your physical reality is drastically changing for 
perhaps beyond what you expected or anticipated and it's requiring you to get comfortable with it because it's happening on a faster timeline. And this is how life changes are accelerating us and I'm getting the visual of a faster pulsing of energy. The energy starts to pulse much faster, which ramps up manifestations as well as breakdowns. And so there are things that are going to crash quite quickly. This could be industries. This could be certain business verticals and areas of our physical life that are simply dismantled, destroyed, and gone. They have been struggling, especially since 2020, and there is nothing that's giving them a life force. There isn't anything sustaining them, and there is not new energy coming in that they can build upon. So know that this particular conjunction is going to unfortunately flatten some businesses that don't have the correct foundation in place for what people want now. And this relates directly to new emerging cultural values, what we now find important and what we have realized is important, especially since 2020. Now, I'm going back to 2020 because that is when we had the notorious Saturn-Pluto conjunction at 22 degrees of Capricorn, which means that this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction is trining that point. So astrologically, the energy is moving forward from the deep permanent global changes that we all went through in 2020 and beyond. And now we're looking at what needs to continue to evolve me forward? What is going to be sustainable? What can I rely upon? What is true for me now? And then looking at it through the collective lens of cultural values. And as an anecdotal example, or perhaps it's not simply anecdotal, uh, there was a recent article about school absenteeism that has become common since 2020. And the absenteeism is less students being in school, less students showing up on a regular basis, whether they are sick. There's also been a shift in the number of children going to public schools. More parents have opted for homeschooling as well as other alternative options. There's also teacher fatigue and how teachers are taking more days off from teaching and being in school, whether they are sick or whether their child is sick and there are now childcare issues where they have to stay home to take care of their children. And so there could, of course, be many other variables here, but this is something that has shown up since 2020 and brings up what are our current values around education, school, learning, and how that can be done in successful ways that we haven't tried before. And so I'm going to put a positive spin on this, that what we can look for are new alternative approaches, new effective ways of approaching education and what we need to learn that are outside of our previous cultural norms. And so this is where there can be more solutions that come up, more ways of both giving and receiving an education based on how the world has changed, how we have changed, how we have shifted since 2020, and to stay open to those approaches and to what is effective now. And so that's one example of how we are being led into new terrain, into new ways of looking at what do we need in our lives that offers practical solutions, but we have to think of them through a revolutionary approach. Now, these energies are also going to show up through our definitions of work and what it means to make money, to live a life that honors your own need for freedom, your own desire for independence. Like maybe you don't want to be in an office from nine to five. Maybe there's more ways to put money in your bank account and to earn a living that are different from what you previously conceived would be possible. And Uranus being about technology, science, innovation, and online opportunities, there could be more here that people are realizing they want to integrate 
into their livelihood. And this could also be shown through the gig economy. This could be something that in fact, you're forced to do because your industry or your previous professional path was shut down to you. I was in an Uber last week and the driver was an engineer who had many qualifications and degrees and he said that the pandemic shut down his typical career path and now he is an Uber driver for 12 hours a day as is his wife and that's how they are making ends meet and he is ready for his his knowledge as an engineer to be valued again so that he can return to that stability and also his passion to what he's good at, to what he enjoys. But at this time, he's had to stay flexible and stay open to whatever will pay the bills and whatever will work for him and his family. And so this is a very realistic example of what the current gig economy looks like, of how our typical means of making a living has been thrown up into the air. It's very destabilizing. It's very scary. And I mean, if you've ever had to live paycheck to paycheck, which I have, I raise my hand to that. When you live paycheck to paycheck, there's a lot of things that are operating in the back of your mind that you're trying to calm, right? You're just trying to trust and make it through. And so there is something in the collective environment right now that we're feeling this. We're feeling the economic instability. We have worries around this. And this is something you could be wrestling with that you really don't want people to know about. You know, you put on a strong front or a calm demeanor, but in the back of your mind or even late at night, there can be things that creep up that we're worried about. This also relates to the debt economy and to the debt that is accumulated, whether through credit card debts, bad investments, uh, student loans, you know, things we need to pay off and wondering, how am I going to do this? How will I follow through on this and get this off my plate at some point? Well, what I feel and what I want to offer you is to hold the intention that with Jupiter here, in Taurus and Jupiter making this conjunction to Uranus in Taurus, which is about your personal finances, that there will be opportunities that open up. There will be options. There will be pathways and doorways. Again, sudden, unexpected things that can work in your favor. As I say this, I'm getting that wheel of fortune energy. And keep in mind that this is all about how this energy is operating with you personally, because of course, it's not going to work with each of us in the same way. But this amplifies miracle energies. This opens up solutions that we would not have thought of. And that's because Uranus is the higher octave of Mercury. Mercury is the human mind. It's our linear mind, how we compartmentalize, how we think about things and perceive them. And with Mercury, there are limitations. There are things we can't see. There are things that we wouldn't naturally perceive and we wouldn't think of it in that way. But when we go to the higher octave of Uranus, Uranus will blast it all open and allow you to step outside your typical perceptions to see things in a new light. So allow this particular conjunction between Jupiter and Uranus to blast open something that you want to manifest, a new possibility, and allow this to be something that the universe is supporting you through. The universe is giving you some kind of opening around any of these Taurus themes that you wouldn't naturally pick up on, that you wouldn't naturally think or conceive of, and allow this energy to not only blast open your own limitations, but your own resistance, your own sense of, ah, that's not possible, that's not practical. See, the universe doesn't know those words. The universe doesn't see it in that light. We live in the physical world where, yes, we have limitations and boundaries, and those are good things. We also have an expected process that we're meant to go through, right? If you want the job, you apply. Oh, wait, first you do a resume or maybe you're all over LinkedIn and then you find the right person who interviews you and so on and so forth. Well, this is where you could be at the right place at the right time and the right person and that whole process isn't needed. 
because the universe is going to connect you energetically to what is ready for you next. So that's why I'm feeling quantum leaping here, quantum leaping into a futuristic timeline a futuristic potential or manifestation that becomes your reality. Things are going to happen quickly for some people and things are going to happen in a way that others will not understand. They will not get it because this is so individual and that's part of the Uranian energy signature is that it is about your authentic energy field and what you are in line for based on your timeline. And so not only are we going to see these quantum leaps and fast developments and accelerated results, we're also going to see people being wildly confused, not understanding it, being thrown off base, and also feeling like, How is this even real? So there is going to be greater separation between timelines. There's going to be more that is energetically fractured because of those different timelines, but it also means you're going to have a validation of what timeline you are on. And so for those fast manifestations and developments, there's also going to be things that are obliterated collapsed, removed. And I'm seeing that as a timeline collapse, where again, there isn't the energy to sustain it going forward. So with a powerful Uranian influence, things happen drastically. Again, it's disruptive and it shakes us up. It can even shake up your core. Now, as I say that, I'm being drawn to the sacral chakra and the sacral chakra being very creative, wanting to make something that feels good, that brings about pleasure, that gives life. You could feel that as a lightning strike of inspiration. And there could be something that comes through that all of a sudden you've got it. And that's how Uranus works. And with the Jupiter influence here, Jupiter amplifies and exaggerates to the point where you can't miss it. And you're going to perhaps feel like now is the time for this, or now I'm ready to create something I've never created before. I'm ready to create something that is perhaps even brand new in your soul's journey. Something so fresh and maybe so wild that it would be easy to doubt it, but I feel like this energetic influence is so strong that there could be this urge or craving or something that you just have to do because it's part of how your life force is flowing. And it also could feel certain. And that is something with the Taurus energy is because it's a fixed sign, there's a certainty there. Yes, this is me. Yes, I want this. Yes, I'm going to do this. And just think of it as, you know, you can't tell a Taurus no. Like a Taurus isn't going to listen to you if that energy isn't open to external energies or external opinions. In fact, I often see the Taurus energy as a vault. And you could think of it as a bank vault or any kind of protective vault where either that vault is open or closed. And if it's closed, there's no penetrating it. There's no way to get in. It's locked into something. And so that could be a signal of what you're strengthening, where you are understanding, I got what I need. I can do this. I have what is necessary for this next endeavor, this next idea, this next creative spark. It could even be something that you're feeling around how you want to live your life differently. And That is going to be part of what we see in the collective as well as in people around us are some big life changes and a representation of what matters to them now versus what we thought we had to do to live a good life. This is the bigger question. What does it mean to you to live a life that you love, that you're proud of? that represents who you are and what you want to experience in the world and in yourself. And this reminds me of another quick anecdotal story I heard a few weeks ago in my Pilates class, um, where right before we got started with our session, one of the women was sharing how she has friends who sold everything in their house and put it in storage. 
and they bought the boat and sailed up and down the eastern seaboard on the U.S. They went up into parts of Canada, then they sailed south into various parts of the Caribbean. And then when they were done with that, they sold the boat and bought an RV. And now they're traveling around the U.S. visiting the national parks and just deciding, should we keep everything in storage or not? But they are turning over what their life experience is based on the fact that they want mobility, they want adventure, they want to be seeing things. Obviously, they have the means to do so and no restrictions around work or family obligations. But she was saying that after they're done with the RV, then they're going to decide how they want to live their life next, but that they don't want to go back to a suburban lifestyle. It's not a fit for them anymore. So just an example, right, of how people are approaching their life in a different means. And I see it, too, as how we are breaking out of the programming and values of the industrial age of factory life, where we had to work in various settings, be it factory, corporate, office, any kind of physical environment in order to create the life we want. Yes, that will still continue. And I don't want to scare some of you who love that and who want that. Absolutely. If that's correct for you, then that is the best choice. But there's more people who want to go beyond their comfort zone or go beyond the cultural programming to choose what is true for them. And we're going to see that in this new cycle. I feel like we're also going to see this rev up even more once Jupiter goes into Gemini and then Uranus goes into Gemini next year in 2025. So it's almost like there could be something that is being deeply understood here where you could see like I'm ready to make these changes or this is where I would like to be in two years and I want my life to look different or I want my experiences to reflect different values. So what do I need to do now to get my life in alignment for that direction, for those potentials? Uranus opens up a risk taking where you could feel like I'm done playing it safe. I want more. There could also be a realization that you don't want to put off the bucket list or you don't want to delay things that matter to you now, especially if you've been feeling a bigger dream rising up in you. And as I say this, I'm now remembering that we had the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in Pisces back in April 2022. That was at nearly 24 degrees of Pisces. And so this conjunction with Jupiter and Uranus makes a sextile to that point in your chart, that point at 23, 24 degrees of Pisces, where something perhaps has been brewing You've been feeling it, you've been sensing it, you've been dreaming about it, daydreaming about it, and now there is this universal push to make it real and to look at what you need to do in order to honor that dream in yourself. So in fact, we have an interesting story here that started, or rather where I'm going to start it in 2020. So not only did we have the Saturn-Pluto conjunction in Capricorn. But Jupiter entered Capricorn and Jupiter had three conjunctions to Pluto in 2020. And they were happening between 22 and nearly 25 degrees of Capricorn. And so that would have brought up fears that you were meant to understand around being in your authority, living a life you're proud of, really putting yourself out there in some way to experience your energy in the world. This would have been quite intense. Now, obviously, we know that 2020 was intense, but Jupiter was working with the fears, shadow, and transformation potential of Pluto and Capricorn at that time. Then Jupiter moved ahead and was conjunct Neptune in Pisces in April 2022. And this also brought up more that you were ready to let go of and unravel from so that you could open up to a new dream and new potentials that would await. Now Jupiter is conjunct Uranus in Taurus at 21, 22 degrees. This is the conjunction of ready to make changes, 
ready to make it happen. How the energy of leveling up and upgrading is right on time, even though it perhaps has been something that's felt more comfortable behind the scenes. Like drastic change can be scary for some people. It can be too much and be overwhelming. And keep in mind, this energy can be overwhelming. But I'm looking at how Jupiter has already been working with these outer planets around the same degree points in Capricorn, Pisces, and now Taurus. And so something is more personal for you now. It's less about the world at large. It's more about you, more about your own awakening journey. Uranus is the planet of awakenings. It's where people come into astrology and they're like, what is this crazy weird thing called astrology? How does this work? What is this about? So we're going to have an uprising in more astrological information and knowledge and astrologers, which is awesome. We're going to have this energy amplify more of how we can live on this planet with an understanding of our authentic frequencies. But we're also understanding that Jupiter has been assisting our knowledge base, the accumulation of wisdom, showing us what we're learning and how to apply it and what that means for you personally now. So as Jupiter has made conjunctions to the three outer planets in only four years, That's a short amount of time, by the way. There's something that's been rapidly rising within us, and it's showing you more of what is possible for you in this lifetime, in this timeline that is right on time. And in fact, it's being required of you to make changes around it. And maybe you have felt impatient around these changes. Maybe you have felt like I've been ready. I've been ready for a few years now and it's been delayed or it's been pushed off. But now there's something here that is opening up a future timeline, but it's a future timeline in the physical world. So it's not just out there or over there. It's actually something that is ready to take root, stabilize and bloom within you. Now, you want to look at your natal astrology chart to find 21, 22 degrees of Taurus by house placement. And here's something to understand about your astrology chart. Houses one through six are the energies happening inside of you. So if this conjunction is occurring for you in houses one through six, it's something in your personal self-identity, your knowledge, your way of life that is changing that other people don't necessarily know or see. If this conjunction is happening for you between houses 7 and 12, then the energy is coming through, through something outside of you, through external means, through another person, through work, through a life experience, through your dreams, through friends. And so a powerful conjunction like this is going to show up in your life through something outside of you that affects you, that changes you, and could even feel like more of a surprise or a shock. Now keep in mind with the Jupiter influence, Jupiter brings about options, possibilities, reward. Jupiter is typically seen as a positive influence and it brings about something beneficial that supports the changes. So if, for example, there's something shocking that happens at work, then there could be an immediate solution or something beneficial that shows up that's like, oh, wow, yes, that's an even better option or that makes sense or this is a better direction for me to go. So with Jupiter, the changes have more of a silver lining There is more support and they can serve you better for the long run. This energy will be strong into May and that's because the sun will enter Taurus and be conjunct this same degree point May 12th and May 13th and then also in the middle of May the sun will be conjunct Uranus. So the energy starts here April 20th and then continues into May. Although, to be fair, the energy has already been in play. 
Um, we're just going to see that it stays ramped up into May. It's going to feel like it's something that maybe you have to intentionally calm yourself. You have to work with it. There's things you have to settle. You have to find that steady, sturdy ground. But this is about some important changes that are right on time. Now, on that note, because this is happening in the earth sign of Taurus, there will be more earth activity. So volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, more happening underneath the surface of the earth, as well as more being dug up through earthly resources. So certainly related to agriculture, mining, gardening, natural resources, including precious metals, maybe a giant diamond or rare gem will be discovered. Coal, salt, gold, silver, gas, oil, you get the gist. All of these industries and resources are going to be a part of this Jupiter Uranus theme, plus how it relates to the financial markets and the economics of many countries. And so this is how it's going to be a multinational experience, quite global, things that are perhaps headline news around resources, around how they're being used, um, if there is any surprising developments, even new discoveries, new things that are discovered within the earth that were not previously seen or acknowledged. I'm actually seeing that these discoveries are from space, like there's these new scientific experiments that are happening on the earth, on the planet, that are providing new insight into what's going on under the surface. I mean, this is certainly the case in Antarctica right now. There are also other places on the planet that are power centers, are parts of the power grid, and they've harnessed a lot of energy. I'm also seeing that there are many new discoveries around what's in the earth, uh, more, more cities, more tunnels, more buildings, shrines, and areas that have been used for many purposes that have been quite hidden. Um, and now I'm seeing the moon and how the moon is so active. The moon is like a beehive with everything going on inside of it, all the scientific experiments and studies and things that are being built and even conducted on the moon um, is, is quite busy right now. So all of these are parts of expanding our human awareness, our human consciousness. All of this is also taking us off planet. And that is part of the Uranian intention is to take us out of our simple every day and rise above to see more potentials and possibilities that we wouldn't naturally connect with. So this is going to be quite a leap in human consciousness. That is certainly the energy of this year. And this conjunction is part of that influence where we're also going to see new energies on the planet. And I'm seeing it as these new colors, like new pulsing colors that actually are showing up in the, it's like the earth's core. And I'm seeing them moving through the planet as part of a ripple effect. And that is also part of what's triggering the volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and what's, what's going on at the ocean floors. I'm seeing that parts of the ocean floor, like there's new crevices opening up. Um, there's new discoveries, new pyramids on the ocean floor, and also new resources. So this energy is definitely meant to keep us open to new discoveries, things that we would normally consider bizarre or weird that eventually become normal and become something that we accept over time, even though at first it seems unfathomable. And remember, this begins a new 13 to 14 year cycle of discoveries. We will have Jupiter and Uranus make their next conjunction in 2037, and that will be at 23 degrees of Cancer. So until then, this is going to activate and accelerate more of those Earth-based resources, more of the Taurus themes uh, that I touched on and mentioned, and also give us new insights, again, into cultural norms, how we want to live our lives, what matters to us in terms of how we combine our need for freedom and independence with the responsibilities of work and commitments. 
and what needs to change in our lives individually and collectively to keep us moving forward in our consciousness on this planet. Now, if you have any planets or points around 21 or 22 degrees of the Earth signs, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, then this particular energy is working with you more personally. The same is true if you have planets or points in the fixed signs between 21 and 22 degrees. That would be Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. This is also bringing about changes that could be daunting to you, that could be scary, that you want to resist and push away. But this is also where you can dig in and trust even more that it's right on time, at least in terms of the cosmic frequencies, and that you're ready for whatever might unfold because you are uniquely coded for these drastic changes. This is right on time for you and it's once in a lifetime. This is only happening once in this lifetime. So look at how you can hold the highest intention for growth, manifestation, building, development, all those keywords and how there is something here that your soul wanted you to experience at this particular time on the planet. So I hope this episode has given you some insights into the themes and expressions that can show up with this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction, and I hope that it's also given you something to count on in yourself, something that you can rely on in yourself that will stabilize you, calm you, and allow you to see how strong you are even amidst these very big changes. As always, thank you so much for joining me for this astrology podcast. I'll be back every Wednesday and Monday for a new show, and I hope that you'll continue to join me as we move through these big energies together. Thank you so much for your time, energy, and presence. You can find out more about your astrology chart through any of my astrological programs or courses. All of them are at mollymccord.online and do check out the links below this podcast as well. I'll see you back here soon and wishing you the best possible developments as this energy unfolds.